and welcome back to my videos and my name is Ari Ari I'm the creator of Sky Space and today you're watching daily play on this second episode I'm going to launch the action module to ISS using of course this starship so let's get started So one of you comment this from the astronaut coming as always he said uh, bring the action module so it seems a good idea because action module design it's uh, based on modern design not based on ISS design because ISS is designed at 90s and the action actually it's designed on the recent technology And the booster about Tomiko and state separation. Now we will need to return this booster to the launch site and the ship to the orbit. As usual, I I make the apogee a bit higher than usual to allow the ship making circular orbit while the booster still outside the Earth atmosphere. And uh, the uh, the extra module it's covered by the solar panel on the top of its module, so it's seem pretty efficient because you don't need to extend or retract the solar panel, so minimize the moving part. This is actually the good design. The extra module is pretty good design, and it looks similar, just like a dragon trunk by SpaceX Dragon Spacecraft. Let's set the Mechazilla to coach the booster. And of course, before doing the landing burn, we need to set this catching mechanism. I will show you uncut video of the booster doing entry and landing burn and finally get couched by the chopstick on the Mechazilla. So here you enjoy it. Why did I uncut or edit this video? Because uh, I want to show you, I want to bring the continuity to audience so they will feel like they're watching this in real life because the SpaceX Starship deployment is delayed because the FAA problem so just pretend this is a mission by SpaceX just enjoy it And of course this is a uh, far away so far away from the real one soon but I can give you a picture about it <laughs> but you get my point And here, using the solar panel to position the booster exactly at the center of the OLM, and we need to activate the cheats once again. This is not cheat for the gameplay benefit, but for the reassembling benefit, not for the gameplay. Well, the reassembling is not affecting the gameplay, so cheats. I think it's no problem. Unless if you using cheat in the middle of the mission, that will be... I don't know what to say. So let's get back to the ship. The ship. The ship is setting the navigation to the ISS. And we got the transfer window.
so here we just need to turn on the engine I will faster the video and we're about to approaching ISS this is a pretty long duration video if I don't make the video faster arriving on the ISS now I'm about to deploy the axiom module I place the starship in this position and when the cargo bay open so it's in horizontal position I will make the ship of relative velocity is zero and just turn on the cargo bay and you see there is the action module so to make this module I'm using a texture mode to making the solar panel to make the uh, solar panel textures look similar as in real life and bring the module to the ISS and here slowly bring the module uh, I will dock the module into the yesterday uh, module because yesterday I'm bring the module on the bottom of the ISS there as you can see there's two module, smaller module, it's around 2 meters and this is the axial module, we are about to dock it to the recent module and voila this is uh, the ISS right now so comment down below what should I bring to ISS on the next video and you can you can say anything maybe maybe shield maybe ISS booster or maybe ISS external engine or maybe iron engine or anything else so just comment down below so thank you for watching this video don't forget to like that like button subscribe to Skyrise space share video to your friend and see you on the next episode. Peace out.